Well, all around the world, people are trying to get back home during this coronavirus pandemic. That includes a group of seven Montanans stranded at an airport in Dubai. MTN's Cody Boyer has the story. For Eli Herman and his six friends, it was a trip to the Philippines and beyond before the coronavirus pandemic hit the United States. So for him, he never imagined what would happen just trying to get home. Employees have locked themselves in the, in the room back there and it's just us sitting out here. When I caught up with Elias Herman and his group of friends, they were hunkered down at the Dubai International Airport. We were actually on an island called uh, Sikior. A fella walked by and told us that the island had been closing down. Sure enough, the last ferry out was at 5 p.m. That was the beginning. After numerous flights that had been canceled, we ended up staying an extra seven days. Then a stroke of luck at a cost. We had to spend upwards of $3,000 on a new flight. It was short-lived. Herman says only minutes after they arrived, Dubai airport staff told them to follow them and give them their passports. It's kind of nerve-wracking. I felt like or we felt like without our passports, there's no real claim to us being U.S. citizens, and that's something that we couldn't lose. Through his phone, Herman showed me a scene out of a nightmare. People sitting on, leaning up against the walls, taking out luggage that they have to make bedding. Out of nearly 300 people stranded, Herman says about 10 of them are Americans, including children. Yet, he says it's no one's fault. I don't blame them. It's not surprising in the sense that the entire time we've been trying to book a flight out, things have been flip-flopping within the hour. Herman holds onto his group of friends and to hope, hope that he says fits the new norm. I hope no one is at the airport waiting for us. I hope that we get home to nobody. I hope that everyone's just at home being sick. And another hope that someone back home can help. It has to be a, a collective effort that we stop the spread of this disease. In Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News.